Hello, Mr. Devoney here. I'm the librarian for the Middle High School here at Afton. And I want to thank you for inviting me to talk to you about pencils and the kinds that artists use and how they use them. Um, a lot of times, artists like myself just, just use a normal yellow pencil like you do uh, for sketches and even to begin, to begin drawing. But most of the time, we use artist pencils which, which come in a pack. And they range in hardness to softness, just like just like rocks do. For rocks, there's a scale to tell the hardness of them. The same thing for the graphite in your pencil. And that scale goes from very, very soft, which are the B pencils, from 9B, which is very, very soft and black, all the way up to 2B, like yours. And then it goes H's, from 2H to 9H, which is a very, very hard, hard lead. And the question is, why, why would you want those kind of, kind of differences? And the, and the reason is because there's different things you might want to say in a drawing. So sometimes we want a bold picture, like this one. So I've used a very soft, probably a 4B or 6B lead. But if I'm drawing someone who's doing needlepoint, and it's very, very delicate, then I might want a hard pencil, so it's almost as soft and fine as the thread that they're using. And so that's why the range. Another thing that artists use are graphite sticks. A graphite stick is made out of the graphite that's in your pencil. And it comes in a stick about four inches long, which you can break. And sometimes if you want a, a wide mark, like on this face, or a really, really black area that you don't want to use a thin point on, you can use a graphite stick, which is the same stuff that's inside your pencil, only, only solid. And lastly, you can buy powdered graphite, which is they take the, the graphite from your pen, pencil, and they grind it up for a powder, and you can use that to rub areas where you want a, a smooth gradation of, of, of shades. And that's really the, there's great similarities and differences in the, in the kind of pencils artists use, but in the long run, they're very similar to yours. So if you have any questions, stop by and see me in the high school library. Thanks.